NATO existence. Meantime, Romania celebrates its 15 years of membership to the Alliance. Since 2004, the Brigade's units participated proudly in NATO missions in theater of operations such as Balkans, Iraq, and Afghanistan. Sadly, though, in these missions, the Brigade lost five soldiers on the battlefield. When talking about NATO, it's important to remind that the Alliance is founded on the principle of collective defense, meaning that if one NATO ally is attacked, then all NATO allies are attacked. Since 2014 World Summit, NATO has implemented the biggest increase in its collective defense since the Cold War. As active contribution to this core task, the multinational brigade Southeast participates to NATO enhanced forward presence with an air defense detachment deployed to Poland as part of the US-led battle group and also participate to NATO tailored for our presence by hosting the Polish military contingent embedded within our 26th Infantry Battalion. Both units have done great job so far, highly contributing to the brigade development and image here and abroad in the best possible way. Headquarter Multinational Brigade Southeast as the first brigade level NATO HQ certified because becomes day by day more important on the NATO map. First mentioned in the Warsaw Summit in 2016, Romanian initiative was to establish a multinational framework brigade. This brigade is meant to help improve integrated training of allied units under headquarter multinational division southeast that will contribute to the alliance strengthening deterrence and defense posture. By achieving the brigade HQ full capability last fall, with the commitment and dedication of the soldiers, non-commissioned officers and officers standing here today, and not only with proved Romanian commitment back in 2016. Moreover, we have multinational units affiliated to the brigade for exercises, therefore helping us to improve on integrated and interoperability training, but also in cultural awareness. I will now continue by saying I fully acknowledge the improvement this headquarter made since declaring initial capability in 2017 but also admitting that great work still needs to be done. I put many on the flaws we met by this time on the out of this headquarter. I strongly believe that with your permanent support and understanding, we will manage to improve on things we are not fully aligned yet with what NATO standards mean. I would like to thank also to the participants to the second plenary of the HQ for contributing to a successful meeting to our distinguished guests who honored us with their presence today and to you all, soldiers, that train, work hard, and prepare every day to make this brigade proud of its achievement. In the end, I want to mention that I think it's not about the hugeness of this unit we represent, but the significance and the impact that this brigade has NATO worldwide. I believe our geographic position in Europe and the mission this brigade was created for to strengthen the Alliance deterrence and defense posture, provide a strong signal of support to regional security. I want to believe you think this too. Thank you very much.